The topic for today's episode is to get or not to get your PhD as an engineer. We had a question come in from Sagnik. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is a specific discipline related question, but I think the broader underlying question is about the PhD. So hopefully that can help those of you making a similar decision. Sagnik asks, thank you for your previous videos. I found them especially useful and motivating. Based on my current situation, I'm about to complete my master's degree in urban environmental, which combines urbanism with environmental engineering. And I already have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. I'm trying to figure out the value of a PhD in civil engineering, more specifically in the field of environmental engineering. Some people have told me that getting a PhD will actually decrease your chances of getting a job. Is that really true? If so, why do people pursue PhDs in engineering at all, other than just trying to teach at a university? The key component to this question is your long-term goals, all right? If you do have long-term goals of being in research as an engineer, being a professor, teaching, being involved in a topic that requires heavy research and analytics for some reason, then I think the PhD is going to be worth it. But if your long-term goals are to be a practicing engineer in a lot of different disciplines, you'll have to take a deeper look at it. My recommendation is to not go for a PhD unless it's going to drive you towards your long-term goals. Now, how do you figure out if your long-term goals require a PhD? I talked about this in detail in episode number four of Engineering Career TV. You find and talk to someone who has a PhD in engineering. What I would be doing if I were you, Sagnik, is trying to find an engineer that has a PhD that's not a professor, especially in environmental engineering, because that's your field. And if you happen to find one or two or three of these people, interview them about it. Why did they do it? What was the reasoning? How has it impacted them? Because you have to remember, with a PhD, you're investing a tremendous amount of time and potentially money, depending on the program. More than money, time is the most valuable resource you have. So if you're going to invest it in a credential like this, you've gotta make sure that this credential is going to help move you towards your goals. If you don't know what those goals are, then don't jump into a program like this. It's just not worth it. The key is to determine your long-term goals, and we have a great course that we will link to below this video that can help you do just that. Once you know your goals, then you can try to determine whether or not a PhD will help you achieve them, whether it's through your own research or through talking to someone that's already done it. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineering Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.